Jennifer, we're standing in the middle of a desert and there's a canal that's running right behind us. What is this place? This is the All-American Canal and it's the Colorado River, or about a fifth of it, running in a man-made channel into California to grow crops. There seems to be a changing paradigm on the Colorado. What, what can you tell me about what's happening now and what we're facing in the future? Really in the last five years, we've hit the age of limits and demand is outstripping supply. So there really isn't any more water to take out of the river. I think we need to start recognizing the value of water, recognizing that there's not an endless supply of water, and recognizing that we probably can't spread water on every last drop of the desert in the Southwest. Today, we're really living with 19th century law, 20th century infrastructure, and 21st century water needs. And it's, there's not going to be a revolution, but there are baby steps that we can take to get us out of the situation that we're in. In the middle of the 20th century, we built two huge dams uh, that contain Lake Mead and then later Lake Powell. And between those two reservoirs and the rest of the reservoirs in the system, we can store about four times the river's annual average flow. At this point, however, after 10 years of drought, all that storage is about half empty. So we're slowly eating through our supply and storage. And the question is, how are we going to manage, particularly if it stays this dry? The history of the West is written in water, and the question is, how does the story end? You could really imagine two different, two very different futures. One in which there is huge population growth in the Southwest, and everybody who lives here has a house with a big lawn, and yet our river has essentially been sucked dry. The other possible future is one where Perhaps we have the same number of people living in this region, but we're living more sustainably in more compact settlement patterns where we're not using as much water in our cities. We've made our agriculture more efficient. We're still growing crops that are very profitable, uh, but maybe not using as much water in agriculture. And the river is really sustaining the landscape that we all moved here for in the first place.